Uh, most of the time uh, when people tell me this, it's usually because we're not working with them. Like it's uh, somebody might ask me, ask me questions or something and they, because uh, we usually tell people right out of the gate with better self, with online coaching, like don't worry so much about this and here's all the reasons why. But a lot of times people, I'll talk to them and they'll tell me their goals and they'll, they'll say, well, this month I only lost like a couple pounds according to the scale or the scale is like, doing its thing where it fluctuates up and down. And I always try to tell people like, get away from the scale for a minute. Or if you're gonna track that as a metric, track other metrics too, just so you can see some trends and you can see, see some other uh, qualitative and quantitative metrics associated with progress that, uh, so you won't feel totally discouraged if you know the scale doesn't move a ton. Um, you know, some people might tell me like within a week, well, I only lost like one pound, like I totally failed this week. Well, on average, it's usually good to only lose a pound per week. I mean, that's sustainable fat loss. Sometimes it's even less than that. Sometimes it's like a fraction of a pound, like a quarter of a pound or half a pound a week. You know, at some point you're gonna get to that and uh, that, that's completely fine. Uh, the other thing is, Typically with our clients, we have our people start out checking the scale if they're, if they're, you know, if they're comfortable with that and it's, it, it hasn't become like this unhealthy obsession for them. We'll have them check the scale once per week. And the reason we do that is because we want to see what it looks like after a full week of being in a caloric deficit. It doesn't make sense to check your weight uh, in the morning, at night, next day at a random time. And then the next day or the next night, um, your weight's going to do this. It's like blood work, it's, it's a snapshot. It's not like, it doesn't tell you trends one time. Um, so if you're looking at the scale and, and it's, it's discouraging you, I would really recommend getting away from it for a second. And uh, if you're really following like a, like a, a, ca a caloric deficit plan or routine, uh, go for a whole week under that particular routine and then weigh yourself in the morning first thing uh, before eat or drink, after going to the restroom, and see what your weight is then, because that's going to be a much better uh, representation of where your weight's at or what it looks like after a full week of being in a caloric deficit. Uh, if you're checking it daily at different times, I would uh, I would say try getting away from that for a second. And if you're going to do it daily, if, if that doesn't like totally discourage you, um, which I don't recommend doing that for a lot of people, but if you are checking it daily and you're just kind of watching it fluctuate, do it at the same time every single day and under the, the same circumstances. So first thing in the morning, after going to the restroom before eat or drink, do that every day and take a look at it and see what it looks like, okay? And if you have any more questions about scale weight or just additional metrics, as far as like what your, uh, like what, uh, you know, markers for progress, then uh, we can talk about that as well. And I can give you some other sources of metrics and like how to gauge your progress.